can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. A nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Nice liver shot lands. Great body kick there. Nice kick. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, and the high kick lands. Going for the leg kick, he does not connect. Oh, misses with the jab. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, that one landed, yep. He gets to his spot, the tie punch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Throws that deep and it lands. Kick to the body by Lee. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of it. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. It's okay, keep going, keep going. What a tricky head kick. Now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, beautiful hook by Lee. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a side kick. That side kick could go to the legs or to the body. What a kick. Oh, sneaky there. The ankle pick is good. That's a good kick by him right there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. 
his opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Straight punch lands. That's a pretty good jab. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep that pressure up. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Inside lead kick is there. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, nice low kick. Final seconds of round one. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, buddy, let's go. Take a seat here. All right, I need you to slow down and relax. I need you to calm that mind, okay? Let's get this stand up under control. Everything you're doing, you're enforcing. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. This piece is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, Superman punch lands. Out of range with that kick attempt. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, nice little right hook there. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. Push kick there to the body. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Big head kick. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight night. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Nice one-two there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Back and forth we go. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Beautiful right punch lands there. Two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, nice hook. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Yeah. 
Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Beautiful punch lands there. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Nice jab. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Nice punch to the head. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Just misses with the straight right. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. 20 seconds to go round two. Beautiful kick lands. 10 seconds to go in the round. Sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John. And you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now. But in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots Ready. with his head. Ready. He's not doing a great job Ready. of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose in terms of his breathing pattern is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done it. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Oh, nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. He lands the kick to the body there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just misses with that one. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on you. Oh, you heard him bad. Oh, huge left. Oh, man, he's a hard. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, he is hurting for certain. I don't care how many planks, crunches you do, the body is not meant to absorb that type of damage. No, you can prepare yourself so thoroughly and still not be ready for this, because this has been hard to watch. This guy has taken every shot that his opponent's thrown to his body. I'm amazed that he's even still standing right now. 
Nice front kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Takedown defense is there. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for certain. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Good punch lands. Final 30 seconds of this third round. He checked that last one. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. In the tie clip, look for the knees to start. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Great shot blocked by that opponent. Circle to your right and keep that right hand up. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah. Those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. You got a little experience. Right? Yes, I do. Oh. There you go. Left, right, combo. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, nice inside kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Lee. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many shots on top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. 
You gotta be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Under three minutes to go in round four. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is gonna start to affect his breathing. Eats a jab there. Yeah, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, nice body shot. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Two minutes to go. Great block, though. The high kick lands. The kick is there to the body. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on it. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Beautiful left punch. Back to the jab now. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Lunges forward with a left there. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Well, you hear that crowd reaction every time he gets battered to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more. I mean, even us, we're grimacing like, ah, how many more can this guy take? He cannot continue to take these body shots. It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, 20 down, oh. five to go. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Block that shot. He's got the single collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Where's that team? Very badly. 
Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. That one snuck in. Nice strike. That shot blocked by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now some separation from his clutch position. Looking to land the leg kick now. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this round. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's. He's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Under two minutes to go in the fight. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight. And I think at some point the referee is going to intervene here, DC. He hasn't been able to change anything, right? So it doesn't, we have no indication that he's going to be able to stay in this fight. The cut was open very early. Now we're at a point where it's going to be stopped due to all the blood and how limited he is in trying to stay in this fight. What an absolute war it has been. Probably going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two from the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one, and it feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Toughness on full display, but he got beat by the better fighter tonight. 20 seconds to go. Nice punch there. 15 seconds. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Official decision now in the buff has. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon!